find the second derivative of this parametric function which is x is equal to t squared plus 1 and y is equal to 3t cube plus 4. So you want to find the second derivative. So let me explain how to find the second derivative. So what is second derivative? So second derivative is d squared y by dx squared. So that is the derivative of the first derivative. So what does this mean? This basically means this is d by dx of dy by dx. So if you differentiate the first, uh, if you differentiate the gradient or the first derivative, you get the second derivative. Okay, so this is what the second derivative means. It is a rate of change of the rate of change. Or the rate of change of change is called the second derivative. Okay, so let's so let's keep this aside. So let's differentiate x with respect to t and y with respect to t. So let's write x is equal to t t squared plus one. So the x squared plus 1, so this implies dx by dt, differentiating x with respect to t, would become 2t. Okay, so this is, let's put this away. Okay, the second thing that we have got is y is equal to 3t cubed plus 4. So now differentiating y with respect to t, we can say dy by dt, dy by dt is equal to uh, is equal to say this is going to be 90 squared 90 squared okay so this is dy by dt okay so now we can say well dy by dx dy by dx is dy by dt dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So now what is dy by dt? Well dy by dt is 9t squared and dx by dt is 2t. So simplifying that you get 4.5t. Okay so dy by dx is in terms of t. So let me write this again. So this implies dy by dx is equal to 4.5t. So one thing that we can see very clearly is dy by dx is not in terms of x. This is in terms of t. So the gradient function of this parametric function in terms of t is 4.5t. Okay, so now how would you find the second derivative. So, so dy by, so we want to find d squared y by dx squared. This is what we want to find, the second derivative in terms of, uh, of course this will be in terms of t. So well, so let me write this again. So that is d by dx, the second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. So d by dx of dy by dx this and this are the same. So this I have just rewritten this. Well the problem is you this dy by dt is in terms of t. So you can differentiate this in also in only in terms of t. So well I'm going to write this like this. So well instead of because we know this is in terms of t I can't differentiate t a function of t in terms of x. I'm going to write d by dt of dy by dx. Now why did I write that? Because I know dy by dx is in terms of t. Okay, so now you to get this back and also cancel this t. So well if I multiply by dt by dx, you can pause this video and try to understand what this whole thing means. So what we are saying is this dt and this dt gets cancelled. So basically this and this are the same. This is d by dx of dy by dx. So this is what you have to look at. So I, what I, I've written dt here and I also written dt here. So dt and dt gets cancelled. So this is basically d by dx of dy by dx. Now why did I write this dy by dx? Bec 
why did I write in terms of t? Because dy by dx is in term of t. So let's put back, so this is d by dt of dy by dx. What is dy by dx? Which is 4, 4.5t. D, this is equal to d by dt of 4.5t times dt by dx. So we know dx by dt. We know d, dx by dt. So this implies, I hope you can see very clearly, dt by dx is equal to 1 over 2t. I'm just making the reciprocal of both of them. So this is 1 over 2t. So let me scroll up. So this is equal to d by dt of 4.5t is 4.5. So this is 4.5 times 1 over 2t. That is same as 4.5 divided by 2t. Okay, so if you want to simplify this, I can say dy by d squared y by dx squared in terms of t is 4.5 divided by 2 is 2.25. 2.25 divided by t. And this is your second derivative. So the second derivative of this function in terms of t is 2.25 divided by t.